Oh no, I'm just doing B-roll. So this morning I came out for sunrise and I've met up with Lynn again. Um, there's not much of a sunrise, in fact there was a small band of colour briefly, I uh, didn't manage to catch it, but the detail in the sky is amazing, there's some absolutely fantastic clouds. Well I'm at um, Low Hawksley in Northumberland and the idea today is just to walk around, the tide's coming in and I've never been to this beach at high tide before. So me and Lynn were just looking at the different rock formations and there's some beautiful um, scars, like rock formations just leading straight out. And obviously the, the um, Croquet Island, I believe, lighthouse, and there's some rocks leading out of there and there's also detail over to this side as well. It's looking really good, so I think I'm going to get some decent images today, which is really fantastic. It's currently New Year's Eve um, and this video will go out in the New Year, in 2019, so Happy New Year. Um, I hope it's a good one. And also, I've just hit 1,000 subscribers before the new year, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much to everybody who subscribed to me. And obviously, if you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe below. It's amazing to see that people are subscribing and are interested in watching my videos. So what I'm going to do, as I say, I'm going to look for some compositions. The tide's coming in and it's just coming around these rocks and making some beautiful compositions. And I want to get them before they're all just covered up. So I'm going to get these and I'll speak to you later. So the tide's coming in really fast and all the rock formations are getting covered up really quickly. So it's just quickly snapping some shots while you have the chance and then moving back and moving on to the next formation. What you find is the tide comes in, the formation that was there which wasn't quite right is now covered in sea and it just looks really good. Um, I've got a few of the scars, the lines of rock leading out that I wanted to get which is really good. Um, and there's also now there's like a bank of black sea coal which is looking awesome as well. And then hopefully as the tide comes in and washes the sand back, it'll make some different formations with the sea coal. So I'm keeping an eye out for that. Once that's done, I don't know what we've got. The kind of, there's a lot of seaweed here. That's not going to be a good composition. And there's some more rock formations here that might turn out okay. I don't think there's much potential for anything later than that. Um, one thing that I have got with me, that I got for Christmas, is a lens wall. Um, you might have seen them on the internet, glass orb. Now there was a rock formation back there that I remember was really good and it's probably now covered up with sea, so I've lost that one. Uh, the thing was, when we were down here, it was pitch black, couldn't see a thing. Um, our eyes started to adjust and you think, oh, I'll get the camera out and I'll be able to get some decent B-roll. And you look at the back of the camera, I put it at ISO 2000 and it was just black. I couldn't see a thing, I couldn't record any B-roll. It was like, how have my eyes adjusted so much? Um, so yeah, we've had to wait a long time. It's 8.30 now, so it's sunrise right now. and. It, it's just cloud, nothing's changed, it's just a bit lighter. Which is good, because it means you can shoot for longer. Uh, I am at work later on, um, so I do have to sort of wrap this up pretty quickly. But yeah, there's some good things to get, let's go and get them. So there's actually now just a little bit of colour just touching the clouds above where the lighthouse is, so I'm hoping to get that. And I need a composition, but everything's covered in water now, so let's see what I can find. Here's a challenge. Go 
So as the tide's coming in, I'm noticing more and more sort of different compositions with the rocks that we're moving back onto. I'll take these rocks here, some amazing leading lines just leading up to the lighthouse. And I think once the tide comes up, that could make for a good composition. I don't know until the tide comes up. It's one of those things you don't really know just until the right time. And often you get up, you come back and it's too late. That's already happened. So there was basically a zigzag formation in the rocks leading out. And there's just a minimalist shot, the zigzags, the sea and the clouds. But fortunately I got there too late to the point where you couldn't really see the zigzags. I think I missed out on that one. So I'm going to go see how Lynn's getting on and see if she's got any good shots and maybe get a bit of inspiration from her as well. Okay, let's go over. So as I mentioned before, I got a lens ball for Christmas. And what this is, just a crystal ball, nothing magic about it, and you shoot through it. And the image, I don't know if you can see, is inverted, it's upside down. But it makes some really cool effects, and it's absolutely fantastic. I was gonna buy one myself, um, and I'm really glad that I got it as a present, so I'm pretty chuffed with this. I've never used them before, I've seen them online, and I've seen some really good images. I know it's a bit of a fad, I know it's a little bit gimmicky, but Let's see what we can get with it. I'm going to go over there, lie it down, take a few pictures. I'll let you stay and watch. So I'm not sure how they turned out, but I guess we'll see when we're getting back on the computer. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet they settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So it's almost time for me to call it a day I had a fantastic morning with Lynn again it's been amazing, the cloud detail is fantastic, the tide coming in just perfect. Just giving loads of different compositions over the rocks at different times. The thing I've learned is maybe to wait around a little bit longer. Um, there's a few times I've found a composition, got to be great in a couple of minutes, walked off, came back and it's just engulfed straight away with water. So hanging around, waiting for the water to come in, that's possibly the best way to do it. There's been a few times where I've tried to take photos of the rocks and it's just been a little bit too high and I haven't really got the detail of the rocks because the water's over it more than it's not. So lessons learned anyway, it's all fantastic. So 2019, what does that mean for me and my channel? 
Well, not a lot's going to change. Um, hopefully just bigger and better. I'm obviously going to be out and about in Northumberland a lot and I'm hopefully going to get to some other places as well. I'm planning for the Lake District, Cornwall, Flamborough Head. There's going to be some good places coming up. So anyway, yes, 2019, I've hit a thousand subs, absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for that. I, it's, what a way to start the year, I can't believe it. It's New Year's Eve today. I'm obviously going to have a little glass of something sparkling tonight just to celebrate the new year in. Thank you very much to everybody who's watched my videos so far and has subscribed, has commented. Please comment below, amazing. Let me know what you thought about this video. Absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, really appreciate it. And I'm signing out now, so until next time, See you later.